Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis and today we're going to be talking about the Kenwood TH-D72A, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis, my call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And like I said, today we're going to be talking about the Kenwood TH-D72A Dual Band HT. But before we get into that, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down the bottom right hand corner. And don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now, let's go ahead and get on to this overview. Okay, so first off... This radio is available on Amazon for $402.95. There will be a link down in the description of this video as well as on the blog post that you can find at everythinghamradio.com. This radio has 1,000 memory channels with a 8 character alphanumeric display. There is 42 CTCSS frequencies and 104 D, uh, digital code squelch uh, codes built into this radio. It has a wide frequency range on the receive especially, well the receive anyways. Uh, band A will receive 136 to 174 and 410 to 470. Band B does a little bit better, has a, a little bit more range. You can receive from 118 to 174 megahertz and 320 to 524 megahertz. On the transmit side both bands will do only the amateur radio bands, the 144 to 148 on the 2 meter side and the 430 to 450 on the 70 centimeter side. Now let's talk about battery life. This battery comes with the BP-45L battery. It has uh, an estimated 6 hours of continuous use on high power, 12 hours on low power and 15 hours on the extreme low power. You can get an optional uh, AAA battery pack, which, which you will need uh, six AAA batteries for. On this, on high power, which is only two watts, um, you get a, an hour and a half on high power, six hours on low power, and up to eight hours on extreme low power. Now, as far as the power output goes, it has the five watts, which is standard for a, a, a HT radio Typically, that's about what all you're going to get. Every now and then, you'll get a mono band radio that'll have seven watts on two meter, but five watts is typically what you're going to get, especially for a dual band radio. Now, uh, when you have the AAA battery pack, like I mentioned, it only has two watts battery output. The low power is half a watt, and the extreme low power is uh, 50 milliwatts, so pretty low on that. This is a true dual band radio, dual receive, dual band radio. You can receive on both VHF uh, on both sides, you can receive on UHF on both sides, or you can do VHF on one and UHF on the other, and you will hear both bands at the same time. When you transmit, the band that you do not have selected will automatically mute, so you don't have to worry about that audio going over your transmit side. This also means that it has the a cross band feature uh, which is nice for those areas when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need a little extra oomph you can add an external antenna to it and um, talk a little bit further typically this is only done on, on mobile radios but this radio does have the feature available it does have a built-in GPS it has the uh, Psi RF Star 3 GPS receiver um, it is widely recognized for its high accuracy and it is built right on top of your radio between your antenna connection and your tuning dial knob. Now the GPS function has several features built into it as well. Uh, one of which is the target point function which we talked about on a, on a previous uh, video as well on the uh, THD74 uh, also had this feature. Um, with this one, you can store up to five target points on the display in real time. Uh, it'll show direction and distance to each of these. You can also switch instantly between north up and heading up, whichever you find more convenient. So if you're if you're wanting it to where you're facing wherever you want uh, to go, it'll be uh, straight up on the dial, 
or true north on the dial, whichever way you're facing, uh, it'll stay up wherever you are facing. It has a GPS logging function. Uh, it'll store up to 5,000 points of track data in the internal memory itself. You can choose from three different timing options for storing this data, whether you're looking at an interval uh, saving, uh, travel distance, or beacon TX point. Uh, if you have it set for a 10 second interval, uh, logging is possible for up to about 14 hours. So if you double that to say 20 seconds, you're going to get twice as much uh, storage uh, as far as your points go. Uh, so instead of 14 hours, you'll get 28 hours. It does have a built in TNC, which is a 1200 baud and a 9600 baud TNC. Uh, it is AX.25 uh, compatible. There is a built-in USB mini B port on the side of the radio. You can use the included cord uh, to attach the radio to your computer to use this radio as both a radio and a TNC. So you can do packet, you can do uh, APRS through your computer. There are several options you can do with that. But like I said, the cord is included uh, with the radio when you purchase it. It will also work as a standalone digipeter. Um, you, this will be handy for you know multiple functions. Let's say you have this set up on an external antenna in your car while you're camping, um, and you have another one of these that you're walking around with, and you can see where it'll go. It'll transmit to the digipeter and retransmit out on a better antenna um, and at higher power to get out further. It has a simple node access with Echolink memory. You can store call signs, node numbers, commands, etc. in up to 10 DTMF memory channels dedicated to Echolink by itself. So you have 10 for Echolink and I believe there's 10 for a uh, separate just DTMF storage for like accessing a uh, auto patch or your repeater or whatever you have uh, DTMF use for. Let's talk a little bit about the APRS function. Uh, there is a positional and directional data. Uh, information is available on distance, speed, and heading, in addition to latitude, and longitude, and altitude. We'll show right there on your display uh, whenever you're looking at that feature of the radio. It'll also do metal uh, meteorological information. Uh, this transceiver can be connected to most Pete Brother and Davis weather stations to access wind speed, direction, rainfall, temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure, and it will display right there on your screen. Um, on top of that, it will automatically transmit it over the APRS network uh, for others to enjoy. Uh, there is a station list. You can store a maximum of 100 stations, including fixed base, mobile, object, or weather stations, and it offers filtering so you can select the different types of stations that you want. So if you only want to see weather stations, you can set that. If you only want mobile stations, you can set it to that, it, whichever way that you choose. Uh, you can also sort them by call sign, reception time, and distance from your own station. And this will update automatically as you move. So if you get closer to somebody else that has an APRS station, that list will automatically update. This radio also has a messaging feature through the APRS system. Um, you can do up to 100 messages uh, with a max character of 67 characters each. Uh, there's five status max messages uh, for 42 characters each. Uh, user phrases and a special call function provides immediate notification when a message is received from a designated station. Also on this radio, it has the QSY function that we talked about uh, in the last overview. Uh, this feature is really nice when you're driving, when you're traveling or something like that. You get a packet uh, from somebody else that says that they're listening on such and such a frequency. Um, whenever this radio receives that, it'll allow you to automatically change your voice frequency to that one and you can make a QSO with that person that you heard. And this is one of the things that APRS was designed to do. Um, it has enhanced operating ease and visibility. Uh, the menu and the arrow keys make it very easy to select different functions. Um, all the keys are backlit to facilitate the use in the dark. And a full dot matrix LCD screen ensures that the icons and the text message are clearly visible. 
Also, there's a rotary encoder knob at the top of the transceiver that allows separate adjustment for volume and for frequency. Now, the only thing this doesn't have um, that I really like is a dedicated squelch knob. Um, it's nice to have that you know, volume and squelch on a knob and then a separate tuning knob um, so you can adjust it uh, on the fly rather than having to go into the menus. Unfortunately, you have to go through the menus to set the squelch of this radio. This radio is very rugged. It has heavy duty specs, meaning that you don't have to worry about getting it caught in a rain shower. Uh, fully prepared for tough outdoor conditions, this radio is very robust as well as offering a IP54 levels of dust proofing and splash proofing. It meets or exceeds the US MIL STD standards for rain, humidity, vibration, and shock. So if you drop this thing, it's not necessarily gonna to totally break. Um, this radio also offers the Kenwood Sky Command system. This system is very nice when you have, um, when you use this in conjunction with, say, a, a TM710G, seven, uh, uh, seven D710G, like we talked about last week. Um, you can hook that radio up to your HF radio and use the D72A to change frequency, to change power settings, to change a whole slew of features. And also, the HF radio will be retransmitted onto a two meter frequency so you could both listen and talk on HF from your HT somewhere else other than where your HF station is set to. And this is a very common feature when it comes to uh, Kenwood radios, especially the new ones. Um, they've had this feature for a very long time. Even this radio you see back here behind me, my T7733, uh, has the Sky Command built into it. Um, next week we're going to be talking about the Kenwood TM281. This is a two meter mobile radio, so make sure you tune into that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out some of the other videos I'll have linked here on the screen. And until next time, y'all, 73.